Hello. So in this uh, tutorial, we're going to have a look at how to control the rules execution order. So in order to do that, first, we're going to have a look at the normal rules execution flow. What's the normal way of executing your set of rules? Then we're going to have a look at the salience keyword. Then we're going to have a look at the agenda groups keyword, which is more advanced than salience and more powerful. Then we're going to have a look at how to use both agenda groups and salience together to gain the full power of rules of controlling the uh, order of your of execution of your rules. So coming to our workbench and this uh, very simple rule from previous tutorials uh, we have on rules and as you can see, uh, Drews is very smart at picking the uh, correct rules. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if your rules are all over the place in different DRL files or in different decision tables. Drews is very smart at finding the uh, rules which meets your uh, conditions. So where the real problems comes when you have multiple rules with uh, a condition which is already met by your request. So you send a request, but there are multiple rules and maybe in different files, in different DRL files, it could be in different decision table files even, but how can you know which uh, rule is going to be executed first and which is going to be executed last. And in order to do, to fix this issue, uh, the rules have introduced this keyword salience. And this is, of course, a very, very uh, simple example just for the sake of clar uh, simplicity so we can understand the technical concept. But in real uh, world, you can... In real world scenario, you can uh, you might have a very complex uh, set of rules, but uh, uh, this salience gives you the power to uh, uh, to reorder the execution of uh, your rules, so you can make sure which is which one is being executed first and last. So salience, of course, is going to execute uh, the rules with higher uh, number then lower, then lower. So first it's going to execute, in this scenario, it's going to execute approve 3, then approve 2, then approve 1, and of course you can have negative numbers as well. And it doesn't matter uh, if you have negative numbers. So in order to uh, check this, we're going to go to Postman, and uh, let's have a look and we don't have a container. So first, let's just make sure uh, our example is deployed correctly. For this one, I'm gonna have a higher version uh, so we can test with it. We're gonna have to build our project. And of course, for your case, you might be using uh, Eclipse or any or IntelliJ, uh, not this workbench, but in my case, I'm using this one so I can give you an idea of how you might uh, deploy your container as well. So, this is A. Uh, we deployed our container successfully. Container A successfully created. So let's get back to our uh, postman. Let's hit send. And the uh, request successfully sent. And as you can see, it's we have three rules fired. Now, of course, in order to know how many rules are being executed, you need to add this comment, fire all rules. 
and uh, you will get in the result how many rules have been executed. And as you can see here, the rule name which uh, has been executed is approve one. So if we get back to our example in here, and let's see why approve one is the rule that is being executed at the end. And of course, you're having the lowest salience number as minus 10. So it's very logical uh, to have this, uh, the rule name in the result as approve one. Of course, if you have put minus 20 and save and deploy and send the request, uh, you're going to have minus uh, approve two in the response. But let's um, stop in here for the salience. Now for the agenda group, and I have something here ready for our agenda group calls. If you want to use the agenda groups, this is the keyword and this is how we can use the agenda groups. And this is an example for the agenda group. So as it says, as the name says, it's a group. So you can assign multiple rules to the group. But again, for the sake of simplicity, we are assigning here uh, approve one. This is the only rule in group one. This is the only group uh, rule in group two. Now for group three, as you can see, we added two uh, different rules. We have approve three and approve four. And this is the idea where you, we can combine uh, the agenda group with salience together. And of course, this is a very again, a simple example. But in this example, it shows you technically that uh, approve four should be executed first if we are calling uh, group three, then approve three because uh, salience in approve three is lower than uh, in approve four. Now, let's deploy this example and let's call it and let's uh, explain how this is being called and what to expect. So now we're saving 2.6 uh, version and let's build it. Okay. Let's build our new version. Of course, I can use create a new container but I just like to have only one container so I remove the old one now we have 2.6 version and let's start it and it's up and running 2.6 perfect then coming back now as you remember we added groups right so what's, what's going to be the difference now? Because we added the groups. And the difference is that we need to add uh, our groups to the request. So I'm going to add this, JSON, to the request. So this is group 3, then group 1, group 2 then group one now which is group is going to be executed first okay in order to, ex uh, to explain this uh the rules c uh, works with the uh agenda groups the same way as in stacks so first we added agenda we added a group three this is group three then we added group Two, then we added group one. So how is it uh, gonna work? What's, what what rules is gonna execute? As you can see, it fire fired activations is four because we have four rules. 
uh, with same condition. So all of them has been executed. And we have approved three, which means uh, group three was the last one has, which has been executed. Now, how is that? Okay, to explain this, first, uh, the rules is going to execute the rules, uh, ex execute the last one which has been ex uh, added. So it's going to execute the last one, which is group one. Then it's going to remove it. Then it's, it's going to execute any rules belong to group two. Then it's going to execute any rules which is going to, uh, which is related to group three. And as you can remember, in group three, we had two rules. So why it didn't execute approve uh, four? Why did it execute approve three? Now let's get back to our approve DRL file. As you can see, approve four has a higher salience. It has 20. Then uh, approve three has only 10. So it's very uh, logical that rules picked approve three to uh, execute it as uh, the last rule. So again, all of them has been executed, all the rules has been executed, uh, the fired activations are four, but this is how uh, the rules uh, order the execution of your rules. If we want to execute the rules using our using uh, with agenda groups using uh, Eclipse using our code, yeah, this is the way you just need to create agenda group set focus command and you just need to insert them and as a result this is the request as a result uh, let's see let's execute this one this one is giving you uh, approve one but this is wrong uh we have let's get back to our this is approved three yeah because of um the conditions i think so no because of the order of your groups so first in uh, for, uh, la last in first out uh, sorry first in last out so this is the concept of a stack so uh, it applied group three then group two then group one and since in group one we have only one rule then approve one is the one uh, is the last rule which is being executed and we have uh, approved one in here. For example, if we, uh, let's say, let's uh, reverse the order of execution. If we, let's say we have, we added uh, in the comments that we have group three, then group two, then group one. So it's gonna be, it's gonna execute group one, then group two, then group three, and uh, of course, uh, because uh, approve three rule have a lower salience is going to be executed. So again, here let's check the result and it's approve three, which is our first uh, group. I hope this video was useful for you. If you like it, please like this video. And subscribe to this channel because in the future we might have very useful videos for you. And thank you and have a nice day.